Hello, namaste friends. We're here at Urban Nirvana and we're about to do a rise and shine routine that you can do on your own every morning to start your day right. This is like we did it at Anamaya Yoga Resort in Costa Rica. So now you can do it at the convenience of your home. Alright, so we're gonna start with tuning in. So sit up nice and tall. You can sit on a block, make sure your knees are lower than your hips and you have your spine at neutral. So you have just a slight arch in your lower back. You might be able to sit just on the ground. That's fine as well. Focus within, connect to the breath. Inhaling deeply through your nose. Expanding the chest, letting the abdomen out. You can close your eyes. And then exhale completely, slowly, all the air out of your lungs. Focusing on your breath, bringing yourself in the present moment. Set intention for the practice with the sound of OM. Inhale to start. OM. Relax your arms, relax your shoulders. Start with spinal rotation, it's called Sufis grind. Inhaling forward, exhaling back, keeping your seat bones on the ground. Shoulders relaxed, letting the breath guide you. Inhale forward, exhale back. Couple more times. Just warming up your hips and rib cage and switch direction, same breath. Inhale forward, exhale back. Leading with your ribs, leading with your heart. And coming back to the center, take a deep inhale. Lift the chest up, apply the root lock, so squeezing everything below the belly button. Helps you circulate the energy through your body. Keep your eyes closed, roll, this, roll the eyes up to the point between your eyebrows. And exhale, relax. We'll do one more warm up exercise. Keeping your shoulders down, start gently rolling your head. Inhaling back, exhaling forward. Be very gentle on your neck, keep it long, especially when you bring your head back. And switch direction, exhale forward, inhale back. Don't, com don't compress your neck vertebras. And come back to the center, take a deep inhale. Holding the breath, apply that root lock, squeeze. Roll the eyes up to the point between your eyebrows, hold the breath. Moving the energy up the spine and exhale, relax. Let's do one more here. Tap your uh, sternum one. Inhale, we're gonna twist left, exhaling right. Inhale left, exhale right. Keeping your spine straight, especially for the twist. Good. And now inhale, open your arms forward. Exhale, twist to your left, look over your left shoulder. Inhaling, lens, exhaling, twist. Inhale in center, exhale to raise to your right, look over your right shoulder, roll it back. Stay here for another breath. Inhale, reach up to the top of the head, ground through your seat bone. Exhale, twist a little more. And come back to the center. We're gonna roll back and forth a little bit here. Bring your knees to the chest, keep your chin slightly in. If you have blocks at home, that's good. It can help us with some movement. If not, that's okay too. All right, and now coming up to see it again. If you have the blocks, bring them at your hips. I'm gonna activate the triceps and the abdominals. So fingers facing forward. We're gonna inhale, lift. See if you can lift your feet off the ground or maybe extend the legs. Exhale, drop. So you can keep it at any level you wish. You can just drop here, lift. Hold. Good. So do it a couple more times. And then if you can, swing back. Here we go. We're going to continue with cat cow. Shoulders over the wrist, elbows soft. Spread the fingers. Bring your hips over the knees. Extend your feet. Inhale. Send your chest forward. Focusing on your thoracic spine. Exhale. Round your back. Drop the tailbone. Focus on your lower back here. Inhaling forward, sliding shoulders down, exhaling round in the back. Keep your neck relaxed. Continue with your breath. Good. 
Warm it up your entire spine. Couple more times. Come back to your neutral spine. So the slide dives in your back. Inhale, reach back through your right heel. Toes facing down. Exhale, pulse up. One more time. Inhale, reach back. Hip square. Exhale, pulse. And now bring your opposite arm forward. Reaching in the opposite directions. Balancing. And exhale, bring it down. Let's do it on the other side. Inhale, reach back through your left heel. Exhale, pulse up. Keeping your chest slightly lifted, core energized. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, pulse. Keep it close to the mid midline, to the center. And next, inhale, bring your right arm forward. Hold it here for a couple of breaths. Reaching out, long neck. Exhale, bring it down. Couple cat cows, just balance it out. Coming back to neutral spine again, we're going to make sure our deep abdominals are activated if you haven't felt them yet. Curl the toes under, elbows soft, and I want you to do a little <coughs> cup and feel like the muscles in your belly contracting. It's deep abdominals called transverse abdominals, so we want to keep them energized. Okay, so find those muscles, apply the root lock, so squeezing everything below your belly button, and we're going to lift knees a couple inches off the ground. Hold it here, stabilizing your lower back, stabilizing the hips. So if you found those deep abdominals, you can breathe, you can talk here. Those are endurance muscles. Good, hold it a little bit more, keep breathing. And relax, bring your knees down. Make sure you keep them engaged throughout the whole movement. Bring your hips all the way to the heels, walk your arms forward, relax your forehead on the ground. Child pose, stay here for a couple of breaths. Breathing in your lower back, at the back of your ribs. You can move your hips side to side. I'm gonna start activating the upper back from here, preparing for our first downward dog. So press down through your fingers, through the mounds of your fingers. Lift your elbows off the ground, start rolling your armpits towards each other. And with your fingers, now push up and in diagonal without lifting your shoulders up. Curl the toes under, keeping the spine in neutral. Keep your legs bent for now, lift up through the seat bones. So bring in the length in your spine first, don't worry about straightening your legs. Then create the space between shoulders and your ears. Energizing your upper back. Energizing your deep core. Reaching up to the seat bones. Once you got that lens in the spine, you can straighten the legs as well. And start pedaling your feet. Relaxing your neck. Good. Inhale, look forward. Shift your weight forward into plank. Hold it here, breathe. If you need to adjust this pose, you can bring your knees on the ground. Otherwise, hold the plank. Make sure your deep abdominals are working. Hold and breathe. We're gonna get ready for our first chaturanga. Inhale deeply. Exhale, bring your knees on the ground. Roll your shoulders back, activating the back of your shoulders, the external rotators. On the exhale, we're gonna take it down slowly. Inhale, extend your feet, keep your hip bones on the ground, press down through your toenails, baby cobra. Exhale, take it down. Let's continue a little bit more. Inhaling up. Lands in the neck, slide the knee just forward and up, exhaling down. Keep anchoring through your toenails and your hips. Focusing on the length of the spine. Rolling the spine up and down. Couple more times. And last time, inhaling up, exhale, come on up, downward dog. Press with your palms, relax your neck, draw the armpits in, energize your upper back, reach up through the seat bones. Inhale, look forward, and step or hop all the way forward, relax your forward back. Toes slightly in and spread the toes, soften your knees, the whole spine is completely relaxed. You can swing here, you can bounce. And move side to side. 
bring your arms behind your back and lift the fingers, roll the shoulders back. Feel like you're rolling your shin bones in, side bones out. Energizing your outer thighs, engage the core, inhale halfway up. Squeeze in the shoulder blades, exhale, roll down. Inhaling halfway up, parallel to the ground, exhale, roll down. Couple more. Make sure you're not rounding your upper back. Keeping your legs active, your core active, relax your arms. Next inhale, roll it up. Vertebra by vertebra, coming up to standing. Inhale, lift your arms up, interlace your fingers. And on the exhale, we're gonna bend left. Ground to your right foot, relax your shoulders. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, other side. Inhale up. Exhale, side. Keeping the lens. Going completely sideways and almost like twisting slightly up toward the sky. And center. Bring your hands in front. We're going to do some squats here. Bring your feet hip width apart. Engaging the core, shoulders down. I want you to try to go through full range of motion if it's comfortable for your knees. Make sure you're not dropping the arches in. And if you feel that you are dropping those arches, roll a mat and bring it under your heels. Okay, keeping your knees stable, going to full range of motion. Inhaling up, exhaling down. A couple more times. Apply the root lock on the exhalation. One more time. The most functional movement and hold it here. We can try to go into a balancing crawl. Bring your hands in front, turn them slightly in. Look forward, lift your hips and squeeze your armpits. Really press just above your elbows. Lift your feet off the ground, hold, breathe. Enough of that. Hop in plank. Or just stand there. Inhale, exhale, Shadaranga, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, open your left leg up, left hip out. Look under your left arm. Sending your right heel down. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Inhale, look forward, send your weight forward. Touch your left elbow with your left knee and step outside your left foot in a dragon lunge. Knee and toe facing the same direction, you're reaching back to your right heel and you can bring your elbows down on the ground or you can use the blocks on the elbows. Hold here, breathe. It's a hip opener, it's just a hip flexor. Make sure you keep up your spine long. Allow yourself a couple deep breaths here. And inhale, come back up to straight arms. Land your right hand and walk your left foot a little bit closer to the midline, but not completely. Roll the shoulder back. Lift your right knee off the ground. On the inhale, we're gonna tap down. On the exhale, twist. Inhaling down, exhaling, twist. So go for the lens on the inhale, even for the twist on the exhale. Couple more times. One more, we're gonna hold this twist. Inhaling, lens, exhaling, twist. Back to the center and move your foot between the hands. Bring the blocks under the hands if you need them. Make sure everything is centered now. Feel like you're drawing your inner thighs towards each other. Your left knee and toe facing forward. Your back leg right in the middle. Inhaling forward into lunge, shoulders back. Exhaling, hamstring stretch. Sending your sit bones back simultaneously, not opening the hip to the side. Inhaling forward. 
Pigs coming back. Couple more. Open your hip flexors, stretching your hamstrings. And one more time, we're going to just hold it here, stretching your hamstrings. Melt on your chest down. Good. Inhale, shift your weight forward again. Bring your hands. Shoulder width apart. Step back, downward dog. Inhale, look forward. Step or hop forward. Coming up halfway. Crown to the ground. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll the spine up. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach forward and down. Inhale, in halfway. Exhale, step or hop back. Roll the shoulders back, shift the around the knees first. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, open your right hip. Look under your right arm, send your left heel down. Stay here, breathe. Next, inhale, look forward, shift your right forward and touch your right knee with your right elbow with your right knee. And land your right foot outside your right hand. Going for dragon lunge on this side. Elbows on the ground or on the block. You can also keep your arms straight if you need to. Keep reaching back through your left heel. And focusing on the lands and the spine and opening the hip. Inhale, coming up to straight arm again. If you look down, land your left hand, roll your left shoulder back, walk your right foot closer to the center. Inhale, touch down with your right hand, exhale, twist towards your right knee. Inhale and down. Exhale and twist in. Couple more times. Keep rolling that left shoulder back. Reaching back through the left heel. Inhale down. Exhale up. And let's hold it here. Walking with your breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Next, inhale, come back to the center and move your right foot between the blocks or between your hands. Make sure your left leg at the center, draw your left hip forward, right hip back. Engaging your core, drawing your inner thighs toward the midline. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, open the hip. Exhale, hamstring stretch. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Make sure you're keeping your spine long. Shoulders relaxed. Couple more times. And last one, we're gonna hold the stretch here. Breathe. Inhale, center. Let's get rid of the blocks again. Bring your hands in front. Step back into downward dog. Back on the feet, reaching up through the sit bones, rolling your armpits in. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Bring your right hand to the center, bring your feet together and turn on the edge of your right side. Shoulder over the wrist, very important, straight line, elbow soft. And bring your left arm up. Good. From here, you can the left, lift the left leg. You can bring the front to make it a little bit easier. You can bring it up to make it harder. Or you can go for the wild thing here, stepping out with your left foot, rolling right shoulder back, lifting the hips and chest up, left arm swings in front of your face and coming up. So biceps towards your face. Come back to the center, let's do it on the other side. Bring your left hand to the center, feet together. Turn the edge of your left, left foot. Soften your standing arm, shoulder over the wrist. Open your right shoulder right here. And 
again, any variation here, a little bit easier, harder, a little bit harder, or step outside with your right foot, bring your hips and chest up, swing your arm in front and over the head, and coming back to the center, inhale plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale baby cobra, Exhale, relax on your belly. We're gonna do just one more back bend and then forward bend to finish our morning practice. So bend your knees, bring your knees hip width apart. Reach your ankles. Don't let your knees go too much to the side. Keep your neck long. On the inhale, push with your feet against the palms and let this movement lift your thighs and ribs off the ground. Exhale, down. One more time, inhale up, exhale down. Next time coming up, hold it here, keep breathing deeply, or you can rock and roll here. Massage in your belly and all the internal organs. Very good for digestion. Make sure you don't have breakfast before this. All right, inhale, reach up higher, exhale, relax. Palms under your shoulders, lean back to child pose. Hips all the way to the heels. Relax your forehead on the ground. Inhale, slowly coming up. And bring your legs in front for the final forward bend. Toes facing forward. Sit it up nice and tall. Inhale up. Exhaling over your legs. Reach whatever you can reach here. Make sure you're not rounding your back. You can bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, come neck, your chest and your thighs. Exhale, go for a deeper stretch. Stay here, relax in your shoulders. Breathing deeply. You can also do plow pose instead of this one. Of course, if you have no neck problems. So that's why we're keeping it safe here with forward bend. Inhale, slowly roll your spine up. Bring your hands behind you. You always have to counterbalance forward bend with this one. Fingers towards your heels. Roll the shoulders back, incline plank. Inhale, lift the hips up. Relax your neck, keep it in line with the spine. Keep reaching up. Hold, squeeze everything. Fold with your final relaxation and then slowly bring it down. Knees to the chest. Rock yourself side to side, back and forth. Relax in Savasana for as long as you need to. So that was a little routine for, for your morning, for rise and shine. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you do with it. Thank you. Namaste.